At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. This idea of market participants selling in a falling market due to hedge, a hedging algorithm has the potential for, for significant market feedback and can cause this cascading effect. One of the founding theories about trading vanilla options was given by the Black-Scholes theory. And it's fairly commonly known and well, well appreciated that the Black-Scholes theory gives you a formula for pricing options. And there are a large number of assumptions that go behind this theory, including some rather obscure ones such as volatility in markets are constant, some things which we know are not quite true. So how can that move markets? Let's take the following example. Suppose that I'm long an option, and the underlying price starts off at level S0, and I've done this delta hedging thing, and I've traded my half of the underlying, and I've got myself zero market exposure, as you can see in the top left-hand chart here. So why is that important? Well, it's been well known for a very long time that there is an anti-correlation between equity markets and volatility. If I look at this picture here, I'm plotting the, vo the level of the S&P in green, and we can see the market correction event, and the volatility of the S&P in orange. Every time one goes up, the other one goes down. They're anti-correlated. And this has given rise to a whole range of different volatility products that are out there in the market. Just a brief word of warning about these products, that there is actually a negative correlation, but the relationship between the returns on the underlying markets and returns on volatilities isn't linear. And that's what this chart tries to show. So what about the market feedback loop for these volatility controlled indices? So here's what happened during February of 2018 for a 5% volatility control product in the S&P. Another one that I want to introduce you to, mainly because it's not talked about very much in textbooks, is the variance swap. So there's a lot of theory of, in textbooks about variance swaps. Unfortunately, the theory that you actually get on variance swaps in textbooks doesn't necessarily work in practice. This is showing an intraday behavior of an underlying at the market open, it starts off at 100, but it's been a bad day and it's going to close down 10%. As the market goes down, slowly and slowly, the, the investment banks build up short delta on their variance swaps and have to buy little bits. Of Do they have effects on underlying markets? So these sorts of products are securitizations, usually based around VIX. So there's some strategies related to doing VIX contracts. And a VIX contract is a complicated thing, something that we cover in quite a lot of detail over the volatility trading course. And it's a contract that's based upon...